Well, howdy, 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 nearly senior citizen here. I literally just woke up and uh, turned on my webcam. I'm still wearing yesterday's shirt because I just woke up. I, last night, before my friends left, we took massive amounts of dabs. And I fell asleep until about 1 o'clock. They left it around 10-ish. And then I got up. Went out on my constitutional, and then <coughs> came back. Took a seat to get just a tiny bit of rust in, and then, boom, um, it's 9.20, and I need to uh, get this done to let you know that um, I'm going to try and get some stuff done. No guarantees, and I'm very, very sorry. Um, I've got to get up. I've got to change my shirt. I've got to try and... Oh, i got to take a shower. i got to do all sorts of stuff. Holy smokes, this is awful. Um, so, I honestly have no idea if I'm going to get anything done. Um, I mean, literally, I just woke up and turned on the camera. I've been awake like uh, it's minute and a half I've been doing this. I've been awake like two minutes now. So I quickly turned it on and, and started up because I wanted to say, oh my gosh, uh, I'm, I'm sorry that I just woke up. I mean, I've been asleep for like six hours. My body just, it's not, my sleep deficit is decades deep. You see, when you miss sleep, you don't, it doesn't just vanish. It stays part of a sleep deficit. If you're four hours behind, because you miss four hours, if you don't make that up at the end of a week, at the end of a month, you're still dragging because you're four hours behind. And so you have a sleep deficit of four hours you have to make up. Because your body doesn't just go, ah, I'm four hours behind, I'm fine. It goes, oh, I'm four hours behind, I'm dragging. And then it just keeps that up. And then the more sleep you miss, the bigger your sleep deficit that you have to try and catch up on before your body will really sleep and get good, positive sleep. My sleep deficit now is decades deep. When my wife was alive, I would stay away 23 hours out of out of a 24-hour period watching her because I was terrified something was going to happen to her while she was asleep. And so I'd stay away 23 hours out of 24. I was so exhausted at that point. I would be talking to people and, or walking and then suddenly, bam, I'd fall asleep and bam, I'd, I'd fall and hit the ground. I would terrify people because I would just be talking or walking and then thud. I'd be laid out on the floor. I'd literally pass out while just talking to people. Not that bad anymore. But my sleep deficit is still decades deep. And so that's why I've got these huge bags under my eyes and I'm falling asleep all the time now because I'm, I don't have a bed. So I just run until I collapse. This ain't healthy. I'm going to have a heart attack or a stroke or something. That's not healthy. You need to sleep. you got to do stuff. And especially since I have sleep apnea, I stop breathing when I sleep. It's not obstructive. I have what's known as central apnea. Obstructive apnea is when parts of your throat collapse and obstruct your, your breathing. And so you're struggling to breathe because you're going, oh, oh. <sighs> What? While you're sleeping. I don't do that. I've got what's known as central apnea. Your brain forgets to tell your lungs to breathe. So quite literally, you're just going... <sighs> and then you just stop. And then after 30, 40 seconds, you know, you're going... <gasps> Your brain goes, oh yeah, here, <gasps> and then you start breathing again. But it can be a minute, a minute and some, you're just sitting there not breathing. 
That's terrible for your heart. Terrible for your brain. It's a terrible strain. I'm gonna have a heart attack or a stroke if I don't keep if I don't knock that off. Well, um Oh boy, that's right. I don't even have my uh, greetings ready. Uh, one of the things I did before I went on my constitutional last night. In fact, I'm not even sure I went on my constitutional. I, I can't even remember if I did now. Uh, is I blew the dust out of my computer. I don't notice. I don't know if you can hear it right now. Remember how loud my computer was before? I blew the dust out of it. We went to my storage unit, got my Kirby vacuum cleaner, and a Kirby vacuum cleaner, they're like $4,000, and we have a Kirby, well, I say we, because I'm still saying my wife. My wife was alive when we bought that, and so we bought it. I'm saying we, and me, and my wife, and I still say we, even though it's been two years and four months that she's been gone. I have a Kirby vacuum cleaner that I bought when my wife was still alive. And the thing is, they're like $3,000, and it turns into like an air compressor if you just turn around and do the various things. So I blew the dust out of my, my computer, and holy smokes, I am surprised that it hadn't burned out again. Before, it went like four months without having the dust burn, blown out of it. And it's so dusty in here that it just, it burned out the power supply. This time, I mean, holy smokes, the graphics card was choked with dust. Everything was just choked. I'm, I'm lucky it didn't die. So it's pretty quiet now because it's not struggling to survive. Boy, I got to blow the dust out of that thing on a, on a monthly basis. I can't, well... Especially in like here when I got the worms of dust off my uh, ceiling fan. This, this is just a terribly dusty place. And with all my hamsters, that adds to it. Well, it's almost eight minutes. I need to, uh, I need to try and wake up, get some stuff done. Oh, I need to take a shower. I meant to take a shower last night. My hair is just so greasy and awful. Ah, I am so sorry that I look so vile. My sincere apologies. You take care. Have a great day. Uh, I'm, I'm hoping to have some other stuff done later. Hopefully I can get a shower in. I really meant to do that last night. I was going to take a shower and boom. Instead I fell asleep. Oh, I did take my walk. I remember now. Uh, I, because I'm both happy and sad when I go out walking because I think it's cool that people are getting together and doing stuff. And, and the Solstice Pokemon thing is actually kind of cool. But it's also very irritating because the night used to be mine when I go out when I went when I go out walking. Because I go out walking at like two o'clock in the morning. Usually there's nobody out there. And so the night is mine. Now there's Pokemon players everywhere. All night. And everywhere I go I'm walking past people. I gotta say it's it's nice that people are out and doing stuff, but it's like I feel kind of resentful now because the night used to be mine, and now there's people everywhere all the time. Oh well. You take care. Have a great day. Hopefully I'm going to get a shower. Hopefully I'm going to get some stuff done. Oh my gosh, I feel so disgusting. You take care. Have a great day. I, I'm not apologizing for not having stuff done. I'm apologizing for being disgusting. You take care, have a great day, and I will see you, hopefully, later today with more videos. I don't know. You take care and have a great day. I'll see you on the flip side. Excuse me. Uh, I don't have to worry about ever feeling pompous or, or anything. I, I'm always blowing the wind out of my own sails. You take care and have a great day.